So lately I've made a video about how to clear your system data and that video was perceived very well. So thank you so much for that. But I want to clear the air about something because I've received a lot of messages from people that couldn't find the folder or the, the, the caching that's taken up that much of a space. If we look to my, if we go to my system settings and we go to general storage, there's not much to see here because I've recently just uh, deleted a lot of caching. So I've just have uh, for about Oh, wow, 44 gigabyte of system data. I didn't know that. So as you see here, it accumulates very fast. And people keep telling me, well, I can't find that caching that you're talking about, or I don't have even Adobe. So why is it taking up that much space? And I want to clear something out. It's not about finding that Adobe caching. Adobe just happens to be the application that accumulates a lot of junk it can be different for you. It's this machine, I'm talking about this very machine that's taken up uh, that, and Adobe is taking up that much of a space in the system data. And that's different for anyone. That video was mainly to show you or to make you understand how this bucket is formed. So once again, let's just go to Finder and as you see here, I'm in my documents folder. And previously I showed you to hit command shift G and type in that tilde, thanks to you guys, I know what this sign is called, forward slash library and hit enter. Now, if we go to the column view, you get to see all these folders that are taking up space. And those are, I'm not saying you just go like hardcore and deleting all these folders because they might be helping your system operate much smoother. I'm just telling you to understand where this junk is coming from. Previously, we talked about caches and uh, that you need to look into this bucket to find if there's anything that's sitting here and that's taking up that much of space. In my case, it was Adobe and to be more specific, it was After Effects but it can be different for you. And maybe there is nothing in here for you that's responsible for that much of a junk right here. As you see here, 44 gigabyte in my case, but we can't find anything here that's taken up that much of space. As a matter of fact, if I hit command I for the caches folder, there's just about six gigabyte, just under six gigabyte of things that's that are stored right there. So it needs to be something else. Obviously, we can't just go over any folder right here and search for that one file that's taken up that much of a space. What you can do is just hit Command A while having this library selected. And now you get to see how much space there's inside of this library folder. Uh, am I telling you to just go hardcore and delete all this stuff? No, but you need to find for yourself what's that file that's taking up that much of a space. It can be multiple files. It can be just one file. Maybe it's not even in here. Maybe if we go um, to go right here, I'm not sure if it's visible for you guys, but if you have Finder selected and you go to the top bar, you go to go uh, and go to computer or hit the shortcut shift command c you get this let's make it bigger now you can just open your hard drive in my case it's about 500 gigabyte and it's taken up about 140 gigabyte of storage i would advise you strongly advise you to not mess with this folder right here in this folder it's anything that has your mac os operating so just leave this folder alone as a side note there are applications that you can't delete, like these applications right here. Did you know that you can't delete Freeform? I mean, I do understand that we can't delete App Store, but you can delete Freeform or this chess game or even what else? You can delete Apple TV for some, for some reason. Well, I mean, you can delete those, but you need to go to your terminal and type in some code and you want and you don't want to do that because down the line, if you want to upgrade your software, you might have some troubles or it will not go that smoothly. So I will highly, highly recommend you to not touch this folder right here. Your applications is ba are basically all the applications that are inside your Mac. Those applications you can uh, delete except from uh, uh, Apple's applications. If we go to the users, that's me and those folders are just the folders that are right here. If we go to documents, for example, as you see here, those are the same documents as these. So let's go back. I want you to understand that these folders are the ones that are taking up space 
in your hard drive. Um, so if we go to library, we go to caches, those caches are different from the caches that we just saw a couple of minutes ago. If we go to library and hit command I, we see it's taken up 28 gigabyte of storage. Once again, you can just go ahead and delete all this stuff. You need to know what you, uh, what you are deleting. If we go, for example, to application support, I see there's Adobe right here. And, uh, and I'm not sure if I've told you that, but I've deleted Adobe from my entire, entire system. Still, there is some Adobe junk in here and it's taken up about four gigabyte of storage. So that's how you need to operate. You need to find those files that are taking up space into your uh, storage and that you don't want to have there. In my example, Adobe, I don't have Adobe anymore in my system. So I just go ahead and hit command backspace. I need to fill in my password. So let's go ahead and do just that. Okay, now four gigabyte of storage is just gone. I know I'm not using that. So there's that AE Juice. That's 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 an application that you, that allows you to uh, download plugins and use plugins on After Effects. I don't have that either. So let's go ahead and hit Command Backspace. Okay, so I got rid of that GarageBand. I'm not sure how much this one is taking up. One gigabyte, okay. I don't have GarageBand in my system, but there is a folder right there that we can just get rid of. And this way I can just go on and on. Final Cut Pro, I do have I do have Final Cut Pro in my system. Let's go ahead, one gigabyte. I'm, I will not, it's not worth it to delete this file right here. I'm not sure what it does, but I'm not gonna delete it. Um, and this way you go, you go and just find for yourself what's taking up that much of a space. If you want to, if you don't want to go folder by folder, I do understand that. What you can do is just go in here, uh, just click any folder, hit command I, know what's in there. Well, this folder is quite small. It's just four gigabyte of storage and go to list view. And I hate it when those files are bigger than the default one. So let's, Go to icon size. Okay, so go to list view and now you can open the folders and see for yourself what's taking up that much of space. Uh, it's not calculated yet. Maybe you need to give it some time before it calculates every uh, bit of size inside, inside any folder. Uh, but you get the idea. What I'm telling you with this video is to understand what folder or what file is taking up a lot of space inside your computer and if necessary get rid of that file that's basically it i've showed you how to find those files um once again and i can't just stress this enough don't go hardcore and delete all these files because you might be deleting something uh something valuable for your system or maybe you're deleting uh, a video that you're working on or anything don't go hardcore and delete all this stuff you need to understand if that file does something for your system or not if it's not just delete it if it does something um, keep, just keep it in there if you don't know what it does maybe you just can't google it or ask chat gpt about it i'm sure it will give you an answer i can't give you an answer from my side because i'm not sure what is taking up much space inside your folder or inside your system basically um i know at first when i had my um MacBook for the first time, I believe that was eight years ago. I was editing a video on Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Pro, if you don't have the right settings, it will balloon over time with just one video. And let me show you those settings. If you hit command comma, you go to playback, don't have this bucket selected. Background rendering, that's detrimental for your system. I was editing a small video and over time it just took up like 200 gigabyte of storage for nothing, just because there was a background render. Import, leave files in, in, in place, and don't create optimized media or create proxy media because those that transcodes even more data on your system. So that was a bon bonus point if you, were, if you were watching up until uh, this point of this video. I hope you've got something out of it. Once again, you know the tools, you know how to look up those files 
and you know how to clean up your system. I hope you got something out of, out of this video. Thank you so much for the love. Um, I'm sorry if, you ha if I haven't answered your question because I'm just receiving uh, like a ton of comments and I'm not talking about the specific video, but about my whole channel in a whole, as a whole, I'm just receiving comments and I'll try to answer them all. But as you can imagine, I just can't answer all your questions. Uh, but if I see your question, I'll try to answer it. And uh, I hope you will just get rid of that system data that's taken up that much space of your on your computer. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.